Hello everybody, in the previous video we went over how to dynamically create a PDF using Visual Force and Apex. And in today's video I want to talk about how we might go ahead and email this PDF using Apex code. So for this example I'm envisioning that our imaginary user needs to generate an invoice PDF for a specific account and then email it to, to a specific person. Uh, and as, as we can see here in this Visual Force page I've created already, we have an input field for the account as well as for an email. So let's jump into the code to see how this all works. And in the interest of time, I've already gone ahead and written all the code necessary to do this. I figured that it's a much better use of time to just go over the logic and see how it works together. So starting with this email invoice view, which is the Visual Force page you were just on a couple seconds ago, we can see that it has a controller called email invoice controller. Uh, we have some simple styling to it, and the bulk of it is just an Apex form with two page block section uh, items. This first page block section item uh, really just contains an output label and an input field that references this invoice account variable, which is actually just a standard account variable, and it references this custom account underscore underscore C field which um, in this test org is just a lookup field to an account, so a lookup to itself. In the second page block section item, we also have another output label and an input text to a recipient email address a string. And at the end, we have a command button, which is used to execute a, an email invoice method on our controller. Jumping into the email invoice controller, we can see here our two variables with their getters and setters and the constructor which is just initializing those variables and very quickly just to reiterate the way i was able to get that lookup functionality on our visual force page which we see here that when we click on it opens up the lookup page for the account is by creating an account variable and initializing it in the controller once we have that we're able to reference any of those fields in our visual force page now, it just so happens that in this uh, dev org, I happen to have a lookup to the account object and that lookup being to itself. Uh, that is what allows us to have that lookup functionality. Moving down, as you can see, we really only have one, uh, one method in our email invoice controller, which makes up the bulk of our logic. And a fair warning as always, that this isn't production grade code. Um, I don't really have much error handling and validation since you know this is just for demonstration purposes and to quickly show what we can do using Apex code. So jumping into the email invoice method on our controller. So as you can see here, we have a simple conditional. Uh, it's checking to make sure that the recipient email address is not blank and that the invoice accounts custom field, which is that lookup we were talking about, is not null. If that condition was met, uh, we go ahead and create a page reference to that invoice uh, PDF. And I will link that video in the description box below if you haven't seen the previous video where we go ahead and create this Visual Force page with that functionality. Once we have that page reference, we then go ahead and pass in a parameter. In this case, it is the account ID of that account that the user chose in our Visual Force page. And very quickly, uh, let's jump into the invoice PDF controller to see the changes that were made. So if you watched a video where we went ahead and created this functionality, you would remember that we had hard coded the account ID and just to speed up the demonstration. But now what we need to do is comment that portion out and actually make use of that parameter that's being passed in. And again, just to speed things up, I've already written that piece of code. And all it's really doing is it's grabbing the account ID that's being passed in the parameters and stored in this account ID string variable. And then we can go ahead and query that account. With that done, the user will be able to create an invoice summary for the specific account that they chose. So once we create the page reference and pass in that account ID, into the invoice PDF view, we then go ahead and grab the contents of that Visual Force page and save it as a blob. And with that done, we now have the logic necessary to create a PDF using Apex code. 
So now all that's left is really to just create the email and the attachment and send it off. And as we can see here, that's exactly what we've done. So very quickly, we create a single email message object. We create the attachment as well. And then we go ahead and set the address, which is that input text we receive from the user in that visual force page, give it a subject, plain text body, and then we go ahead and attach the attachments that we had just created right here. Once that's done, we go ahead and give that attachment a content type, which in this case is a PDF. Then we specify a file name. In this case, it's just invoice summary PDF. And then lastly, we set the body of our, of our attachment object to be the invoice PDF that we had defined up here. With all that done, we can go ahead and use the send email method of our messaging object, which will go ahead and trigger that email send. And just to make life a little easier for our imaginary user, I've gone ahead and outputted the status of that email send. So as you can see here, if the email was successfully sent, then we just add a page message to our visual force page saying email sent. And if for some reason it failed, we will show an error message. So if we jump into our email invoice view visual force page one more time, Let's go ahead and test it out. So I will start by clicking on this lookup and let's just say that we want to send an invoice summary to GenePoint. So I will click on that. Once that is done, you can see that the lookup page disappeared and that it added GenePoint for us. And lastly, I will go ahead and supply it in an email. And lastly, we will click on send invoice. And after a couple of seconds, you can see that we have our success message. So let's go ahead and jump into our email and see what we get. And as we can see, we've re successfully received our email. Here's the subject that we gave it, invoice summary. Here's the body, here's your invoice. And last but not least, here's the PDF, which when we open it, we should see Gene Point, which was the account we sent it to. And that's about it. I hope you found this useful. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section down below and or if you have a better way of achieving this functionality. Until next time.